Your hair looks amazing. Oh. McDonald's is opening in Beverly. Because I've got such an exciting giveaway. Now I'm reading Last Seen Alive. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday the 28th of July. Ah. Um, up, yeah, I did mess it up a little bit. I'm with Tom in the car because we are about to go into town today. Um, just for a little meet around. Today. Today. We're going to turn to Danny from Love Island. Basically, we're going into town. I also need to take a couple of photos for a brand which Tom is going to kindly help me with. We're just going to have a bit of a mooch. It's another really nice day, although it has been really stormy the last couple of evenings. We missed it actually because on Saturday, no, today's Saturday. <laughs> You're really struggling, aren't you? Honestly, my brain is not engaged. On Thursday night, there was a massive thunderstorm. I think it was the early hours of the morning, but I wasn't here. I was down in London, so I didn't like witness any of that. I'd seen everybody tweeting about it. I was like, we don't have a storm. And then last night, just after we'd got home, I'd seen Tom, and then he left, and about five o'clock, just after, yeah. started thundering really, really, bad. really badly, like really loud. So about half six. Yeah, six. yeah, it's just been very tropical because obviously we've had such hot weather that now I guess that we need the end of that, and that usually happens by a thunderstorm. However, it is sunny and warm again today so hopefully it won't thunder while we're out <laughs> we've just popped back to tom's house now and then i'm so excited to show you a pr delivery that i got you guys are not going to believe it i also have an amazing giveaway for you guys in this vlog as well so very very excited for when i get home what i'm going to show you so we've just sat and had a little snack in nero's i had an iced coffee and a tea cake and tom had a chocolate milkshake your hair looks amazing today it? yeah it looks really it's nice it is sticking up a little bit but i like it a lot um and we are just going to go and try and bar a hula hoop from somewhere which sounds so so random but it's for a campaign that i'm doing um so we need to find that and we also need to go to super drill tom is going to help me being so super kind also i've just realized i forgot to put any earrings in I hate not having it I know, it's hot. What about the first? I'll wear my hair in front of them. What? Okay, it's a bit later on. Tom has been at mine. We were in town for like probably about an hour and a half and then we went to the Westwood, which is like a massive field in Beverly basically, um, to take some pictures for a brand which Tom has been helping me with. So I really appreciate his help. He's been a really good photographer. Um, and now we're just heading out to Morrison's to grab some lunch and then I think, are you going home? Uh, I think so. Going to Bastille. Though. Yeah, Tom's going to see Bastille tonight, which is so exciting. So yeah, he's going to see them at Scarborough tonight, which is so cool. I really wish I was going. I love Bastille. But he's going with his brother, which should, should be really fun um, and then when we get back I have some lunch to eat and then also some more like brandy bits to do I feel like I say this a lot but it's just because I've been so not behind on it but I've been away a lot recently so I haven't really had chance to do any of the like admin -y, behind the scenes bits that I've needed to do so today is a bit of a catch-up day I have got a PR haul for you in this vlog it's coming probably next like after I've eaten my lunch because I've got such an exciting giveaway and I've received the coolest coolest PR delivery so yeah I've already mentioned I'm excited but just in case you didn't understand I'm excited to do this giveaway like McDonald's is opening in Beverly it opens next week I'm on holiday when it actually opens but it looks so weird having a McDonald's here because like all through my childhood the nearest McDonald's has been in like Hull not being far away at all but it's just like we've never had one in my town it's weird that it's in my town like I don't really like it it feels odd but I mean, I'm not gonna complain I bought myself my favorite crisps because everybody always forgets that these are my favorite so if you ever meet me and you want to buy me a snack these are my favorite literally everybody else says they're so boring you don't like these crisps do you no, they're, cardboard. they're not cardboard oh mini cheddars are the ones especially cheese and onion mini cheddars so i've just really quickly got changed and eaten my lunch but tom has gone home and i really wanted to show you the delivery i received the other day i was actually away when it arrived so i hadn't had a chance to film it until now but i'm so excited about this so basically i have been sent this gorgeous teddy blake handbag like i'm actually obsessed with it i've had a teddy blake bag in the past some of you guys might not have heard of them but they are a absolutely gorgeous new york based designer oh this bag look at this look at this I'm the luckiest girl ever. Look at this handbag. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at how stunning this is. Literally, what the hell? It's like the perfect size. It's burgundy. It has the writing here in gold. I'm actually so grateful for it because I love bags like this. The inside is all um, this like really plush kind of like um, 
fabric and it's just a bucket bag but it comes with a like little pouch so that you could put your important stuff in here zip it up and then have that attached to the bag inside the bag and then it just goes on your shoulder which i think is so convenient so i'm actually obsessed with this now these bags are designer they are quite expensive so i feel super super grateful and i think this is just going to be the perfect autumn handbag it's like so easy to pair with everything but it is a little bit different color wise the reason i'm so excited about this is because teddy bear is actually celebrating its third birthday and they wanted to do a giveaway with you guys and I know that you're gonna be so excited about this because basically they are celebrating their third birthday at the moment it is actually today the day that this video goes live they are three years old so because they're celebrating they want to give three of you guys the chance to win any of their bags which I think is literally insane so if you wanted to know a little bit more information my bag is called the Alice Vitello bag in the smaller size now they let me pick this and pick the colour they did it in other colours and I chose to get the burgundy one I thought it was a little bit different um, and I'm gonna show you in the vlogs coming up in the next couple of days like what I've paired it with and what kind of style I think it suits obviously I think it is more suited to autumn I'm so excited to take this to university and have it as like a really really resourceful handbag that you can actually use it's not one of those designer bags that's like literally just gonna fit your phone in so the teddy bag founder was actually born in France but then like moved to New York later which is where they are based this is a New York based um, designer bag it says New York underneath the Teddy Blake thing which I love and New York is like my favorite city they started their company in 2015 so it is relatively new but I really think you guys should check their website out they have some absolutely gorgeous bags for all occasions and I feel so super grateful that they have sent this gorgeous one out to me but what I think is more exciting is the fact that three of you guys are in with the chance of winning one of these bags too I think it's such a good prize and I'm so grateful to Teddy Blake for letting me give you this opportunity because I think that so many like people love a good handbag like realistically who doesn't love a good handbag so also something that i think is really cool about this and i think you can tell because of the detail on it is insane but every single bag is handmade like all of them are handmade so yeah I wish you could smell this. It smells insane. This video isn't sponsored by Teddy Blake. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that I was so grateful and so lucky. But also, I think the giveaway is so cool. So I'm going to tell you how you can enter. Literally, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed down below. And then I have posted a picture of me and the handbag to Instagram today. So all you have to do is repost that photo with the hashtag that is on screen now. So hashtag happy third B day Teddy Blake. And then follow me and follow Teddy Blake over on Instagram as well and be sure to tag us both when you repost it so that then we can see like who's interested in winning the bag obviously this information will be in the post over on Instagram as well but if you're watching this vlog before you've seen the Instagram post that is all you have to do subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up and then repost the photo with the instructions down below honestly I think it's such a cool opportunity these bags are such good quality and they are quite expensive so to be in with the chance of winning them I think it is insane so yeah thank you so much Teddy Blake super excited to start using this super excited to pair it with some really nice winter outfits and um, yeah i'm excited to show you guys in the vlogs how i'm going to be styling it i forgot to mention this is open internationally and it closes on the 3rd of august that is when the winners will be announced okay it's been a while oh i thought i'd just snap my head bubble um i haven't vlogged very much because i haven't done very much which is like rare for me it's very odd that i just don't do anything during the day um but it's been kind of nice i actually went to see my next door neighbor's baby because they had a baby on thursday um, and it's so small and cute. It's, it, they had to like bring it early, but it's like fine and everything, but it's just the smallest, cutest baby ever. So I just went and held that. So that was lovely. We went around there for like maybe an hour, probably just less than an hour. Obviously I wasn't gonna film that, um, but yeah, that was actually what I did. And then I had tea. So it is now half past seven and I'm about to go Instagram live, but I'm waiting for my phone to come back on because it is actually flat. So when my phone charges up, I will go live on Instagram. But I just wanted to talk to you about this book that I am currently reading. Cause you guys seem to really like the book updates and I haven't done one for a while. So, so far this summer I have read, what is the book called that I started on? Beautiful Broken Things. Then I read The Couple Next Door. Then I read Call Me By Your Name. Name. then I read hmm <laughs> hmm I don't know what did I read after that you call me by your name I read the last piece of my heart then I read Eleanor Olympian it's completely fine and now I'm reading last scene alive which I actually bought this week when I was in Leeds um, my favorite so far I think has probably been the last piece of my heart just because it was like really trashy easy to read 
but a really good story that I've actually thought about a lot since I finished reading it and it makes me want to become a travel writer so that is the one I would probably put first however it's not the best written like it is a good story it's very easy to read but it's not like technically as literature goes it's like not it's not up there out of those books but it was my favorite to read on holiday um I like the Eleanor Olympian I really don't know how you say that Eleanor Oliphant Eleanor I don't know how you say the last name. Um, I'd heard a lot of hype and because I'd heard so much hype I thought it was maybe going to be better than it actually was um, and I read it very quickly. I read it in like two days but I do think that it has been maybe overhyped. Like I'm, I'm very critical of books because basically if it's not Harry Potter or The Great Gatsby like it's probably not going to be up there. I'm very like Meh. like it was good but it wasn't amazing. The book that gripped me the most was The Couple Next Door. That is such an easy book to read. I read it in literally a day. I read it in one afternoon. It is one that you can't put down once you start it. It's like boom, boom, boom. And I really enjoyed it because of that. This, I feel, is going to take a similar turn. It's like a thriller mystery. I don't know if it's going to become a bit of a ghost like story as well. I'm not really too sure where it's heading. Um, but easy to read so far. I think probably my least favourite that I've read is call me by your name just because it wasn't really what I thought it was going to be it's very like explicit like 18 plus book um and I just thought it was a bit like of an unnecessary storyline I kind of thought like where is it heading what is going to happen here and I think it's a nice story um but it went on a little bit like it did get a bit repetitive something I did love about that book is the setting like it made me really want to visit like Italy so yeah I mean I've taken something different from all of the books that I've read I liked Beautiful Bro things as well I thought that was maybe aimed at a younger audience I think maybe that was aimed at like 14 year old 15 year old um, I did feel a little bit old reading that but doesn't really matter so that is my update I've had a lot of comments being like can you please do a book haul but I haven't bought any more books so I thought instead I would just talk you through the ones I have enjoyed when I did this last I got a lot of people saying like what is your favorite book ever like what do you recommend uh, that you've already read and stuff so obviously like my favorite book series is the Harry Potter series like always has been always will be like I'm just basically always gonna say that however if you want standalone books that are really good to read my top three that I would recommend to you would be The Great Gatsby because that is just like an incredible work of literature and I, I'm absolutely like I just love it so much but the first time I read it I didn't enjoy it and then I read it again probably a couple of months later in school and I think once I'd like understood it then I absolutely loved it and that's like my favourite book that I've ever studied. I think The Perks of Being a Wallflower is an essential read. If you're sitting at home watching this vlog thinking, oh, I've seen the film, I think you should read the book because it's another just really beautiful piece of writing. And I read it when I was very young. I haven't read it again recently, but I yeah, I think that's an essential like coming of age story. And then last one, I don't really know what I'd throw in. Another random one maybe like, I actually also really liked We Were Liars, which I read last year. Again, really easy read, but it left me like really confused, so. Yeah, they are the three I would recommend to you. And now I'm about to go live on Instagram because my phone has just come back on. So I hope you enjoyed the book update. This is my current read. Let me know in the comments what you're reading and what's your favourite summer book been because I know reading isn't something that everybody enjoys and it's definitely not for everyone, but it is something I do really love. So I'm talking about it. Okay, I'm currently on Instagram and as always, you guys have asked if you can be in the vlog, which is so lovely. So I've said yes and I'm just going to film you guys now. So let me know in the comments of the video if you see yourself. And as always, if you're watching the vlog and you don't follow me over on Instagram, you definitely should because I'm going to try and go live a little bit more often and I've been posting to Instagram a lot recently. So yeah, thank you so much to everybody that is watching and we've just been having a good chat really about like everything university sick form school tom life <laughs> literally everything so come and join in the instagram lives let me know if you see yourself and yeah okay guys <laughs> it's now actually the next day after i went on instagram live last night i didn't film anything else i could i really didn't feel that well i like felt kind of ill i'm fine now i think i just needed like an early night been a really really hectic week um but yeah so i didn't film anything else and then tom came around and we watched unforgotten which i actually am um, obsessed with now i'm so excited to watch the last episode i think it airs tonight but it clashes with love island so 
you know, priorities are with Love Island. Um, but I'm going to end this vlog here. I am vlogging tomorrow as well, so there will be another vlog up tomorrow night for you guys, so Monday night. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. I know it's been a very home-based one, but there hasn't been one like that for a while, so I hope you don't mind. If you have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you're new around here, we just hit 86,000 subscribers today, so thank you very much for that. Very grateful. Creeping closer to 90,000, um, so subscribe if you're new. And I will be back on tomorrow night. Bye!